into the stream as well. There we go. Look at this. This is amazing. This is amazing technology. Hi, Dan. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Awesome, that's absolutely our pleasure. Why don't you uh, Why don't you introduce yourself a little bit and tell us a little bit about uh, about what you do? Uh, my name is Idan. I live in the beautiful and unfortunately empty city of Tel Aviv. Uh, oh. I, yeah, uh, but uh, we're all in the same boat here, so I'm guessing you can relate. Yeah. Uh, usually, I work in a, a really cool startup called UVI. We do vehicle inspection, contactless vehicle inspection, which is in uh, style right now. And uh, I really, really love Angular. I really love the Firebase, and I want to share this love with you. Well, we are we are, we are very, very fortunate to have you on the on the session. So uh, we'll uh, I'll, I'll pass over to you, and uh, you can get going uh, straight away. And I'll ask for people to uh, add uh, questions and things like that into either Slack uh, or into Slido, and uh, we'll uh, we'll pass them over to Idan uh, at the end of the. Uh, at the end of the session. So over, uh, Aidan, over to you. Thank you, thank you so much. Let me just share my screen here. Uh, one second. Excellent, okay. Let's see what we've got here. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Uh, so, as I've said, uh, my name is Didan. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, one of my biggest uh, passions in life is creating things. And I'll tell you the truth, I'm not that good at it. I, I mean, I'm good at the UI part, but I'm really bad at the backend part. That's why I was so happy when I found out about Firebase. It allows me to hand over all the tedious... Uh, parts of the development of the uh, backend development uh, to a wonderful uh, solution called firebase and i want to show it uh, to you in a second uh, down here you can see my twitter handle uh, i recommend you uh, uh, follow me i'm about to share a very important link for the uh, for this presentation i think it's going to be a nice surprise but uh, first thing first let's start so uh, what I want to show you is first a couple of projects I did with Firebase because many people think that Firebase isn't mature enough for real world application. And I want to show you it is a really a, a, a mature. So uh, as I said, I'm working at UVI. UVI is a vehicle inspection company. And uh, what we do is we scan vehicles, we uh, take the images, uh, pass them through uh, a algorithm that uh, traces uh, abnormalities, threats, things like that. As you can see, we scan uh, uh, the exterior, we scan uh, uh, the wheels. And uh, Firebase uh, is a really big part of our project. Uh, basically, one of the most amazing features we use here is a Firebase storage. They allow uh, you to uh, uh, store files, huge files, huge amounts of data, really easily and uh, to retrieve them whenever you want with a very uh, efficient and easy to use permission uh, uh, system. And uh, <clears throat> another thing that I think it's important to mention is that uh, Firebase is only a part of our uh, product, of our solution, because Firebase do have disadvantages. In our case, for example, for example <clears throat> excuse me, Firebase don't have an on-premise solution, and we do. So uh, not everything is uh, in uh, Firebase. Uh, here's a CRM system I've built. Uh, what's special about this system is that it uh, serves tens of thousands of end users, and not just the administration. And an important thing to mention about this system is that it uh, uh, perform, per performs transactions of over $3 million a year uh, made by uh, tens of thousands of uh, users. And everything, as you can see, works seamlessly. And one last thing uh, I really enjoy. Um, I'm not sure you all know, lately we had the uh, Pesach Seder, the traditional Seder dinner. And during the Seder dinner, we uh, usually, it's a custom, it's a tradition, we hide the matzah. We call it an afikuman. And uh, as you know, we did our Seder uh, this year alone. 
and we couldn't hide the uh, Afiko Man to let people know that it actually exists. Uh, so I created this uh, uh, cool little game that uh, you can uh, search for the Afiko Man yourself. I urge you to go in there. I think it's a lot of fun, afikoman.itancoen.com. But uh, uh, you didn't come here to see what wonderful things I'm doing. You want to see uh, uh, how you can uh, use it to create wonderful things. So let's start. OK, one second. Seder dinner. Uh, so as I said, Angular and Firebase. Uh, first of all, uh, it's very important to uh, make it clear that Angular and Firebase are two completely separate products. You can use one without the other. You can use Angular with a, a, a Java backend or a PHP backend if you're unlucky. And you can use Firebase with React, with Vue, with what have you. Uh, but I think they work amazing together. I really do. Uh, first of all, because they both come from Google. And uh, no one said it uh, officially, but I do believe that their combination, Angular with Firebase, represent uh, Google's vision of a seamlessly backend frontend architecture. They work amazing together. I'll show you. I'll soon show you how. A uh, second reason they work amazing together is there that they're both uh, JavaScript TypeScript to be exact, which is even better. And that allows you to uh, share a, a, a code, to share a types. It expedites development uh, by a great deal, and uh, it's an amazing experience. And last but not least, they both use uh, RxJS uh, observables. This is a wonderful, if you don't know it, it's a wonderful and amazing way to pass data and to handle changing data, uh, mutating data. Uh, Angular is very strongly uh, entangled with uh, observables, and Firebase is very strongly uh, entangled with uh, web sockets. And they're both great ways to pass changing information a long time. And soon I'll show you how they work amazing together. It makes your life so much more easier. OK, so stepping into the fire, what does Firebase actually uh, uh, offers us? So first of all, it's a database. It's a non-SQL database that is really easy and fun to use. It's hosting. Hosting is not that a big deal, you know that. But oh my god, it's so easy. Uh, you love it. I'll show you in a second. Uh, authentication, user management. Uh, it's it's always the same, but it's always such a big deal to develop and to handle. And Firebase just makes it uh, is so easy like a breeze. File storage, which is like a database. It's unlike hosting because uh, it's not static the, uh, uh, assets. It's changing that uh, assets, uploads, images, what have you. And uh, again, it works great. You've seen it earlier in uh, the UVI presentation. Cloud functions, which is amazing. After all, you do need some backend, a, a, some a backend logic, and cloud function is a really easy and fun way to uh, apply this logic. Analytics, which is again not that uh, hard, but when it comes out of the box like that, it, it's so much more fun. And messaging, you want to send push messages, you want to send SMS messages, you want to send mailing. Firebase handles everything for you. So let's start with a small example. Think of a basic update flow. OK, you all know this. I, I'm not inventing anything here. This is like the a, a, a generic a, a update flow. The UI makes a request to the backend, and the backend a, a returns a response. But you've been to enough meetups and conference like this to know that this is a complete lie. This never really exists. This is in a fantasy pink bunny land world where you have this basic flow. A more realistic basic flow is the UI uh, making a request to an endpoint you need to create uh, in advance, uh, like REST slash uh, add slash something, uh, which invokes a controller that queries the database, which returns the result. The controller packs them in a data object and uh, sends them back to the UI. And no, now the bunny isn't so happy. And even now, I'm still being a bit optimistic because our real life uh, 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 flow looks more like this. You'll have the user management here in the middle. And every time uh, the UI makes a request to the endpoint, the endpoint have to ask the user management, is he allowed to do that? Is she not allowed to do that? 
And uh, I'm not even mentioning error handling and tests and CI CD and scaling and security. And you end up with a dead bunny because it, it took the life, the joy out of you. And instead of enjoying your development process, you find yourself handling tons of issues that are pretty much generic. It's the same issues every time with each project. Why isn't there a generic solution? But there is. So I want to show you how to make the a sad bunny a happy bunny. I want to show you how to take this nightmare of a flow and uh, really enjoy this uh, utopian uh, uh, simplified flow. So let me show you how Firebase does that. OK, I'm going to show you a little piece of code. Bear with me for a second. OK, what do we have here? This is an example of a Firebase code, a JavaScript Firebase code, by the way, Firebase gives you a lot of uh, other libraries to use, uh, uh, Python, uh, C Sharp, uh, iOS, what have you. Uh, but this is the JavaScript uh, uh, version. Uh, Firebase provides you with this object, the DB object. Now, I'll show you in a second how you configure it. It's really, really easy. But once you configure it, you're Superman when you have this DB. Check this out. So, uh, uh, using this DB, I uh, uh, make a request to the collection users, and I add this data object. If it succeeds, document written. If it fails, console log error, uh, error. Now, what is the endpoint? Does the user's collection exist? Do I have permission? I don't care. I want to do an add action. I don't care about all the rest. I just want to do it. And believe it or not, this piece of code is actually uh, uh, working. I'll show you in a second how. I want to do a live demo. But I want to talk to you uh, for a second about the things I didn't do here. Notice what I didn't do here. I didn't create an endpoint. I don't know. It looks like uh, Aidan is frozen. I'm just, uh, please bear with me. I'm just going to try and see if uh, we can get Aidan to rejoin.
Sorry, guys, uh, I lost you there. Uh, I'll just repeat the last few sentences. These are all the things I didn't do. Uh, I didn't create an endpoint, I didn't create a controller, I didn't do anything. This comes out of the box and it's just working. It's amazing. And uh, I want to show you a live uh, a demo uh, so you can all see how simple it is to know that I'm not fooling you. Okay, so what I did, uh, I created an Angular project. For those of you who don't know, it's really easy. All you need to do is install the Angular CLI and do ng-new. When you uh, write ng-new, uh, you get the entire uh, wonderful world uh, of uh, development environment as well as the deployment tools to create your project right away without worrying about all the boring stuff. So I did uh, ng-new and I got uh, uh, this basic uh, folder structure. I hope you can see it. And uh, as all other uh, uh, programs, this also have an entry point and it's app module. Now, this app module looks exactly as it is when I did ng-new. This is a, a completely new a, 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 a project. You can see my uh, GitHub later, I'll send you a link. All I did here was add the uh, uh, imported, uh, the Angular modules. And I also initialized this uh, uh, Firebase module, the, uh, I'm sorry, I added the uh, Firebase module. I also initialized this one with this uh, environment configs. You can see here, now where did I got these uh, things? It's really easy. I recommend you all take a visit to the uh, Firebase console. I'm sure some of you at least have some experience with AWS and you know how the AWS console look like. Now take a look at this. This is easy, this is fun. This is something that you wanna go into. And one of the things I have here is an app uh, I created earlier. And it has this uh, config settings, which you just copy and paste uh, right here. So I copy and pasted it. By the way, this has nothing confidential in it. You can copy it, I don't mind, because this is just basically the endpoint of uh, the uh, Firebase uh, you, uh, your application is talking to. It doesn't have anything to do with permissions. So you might have zero permissions, but you can still talk to the uh, Firebase uh, uh, server. It won't answer you, but you can still talk to it. So this is completely unconfidential. And uh, if we'll go back to the app module, you can see I initialized and added a few other modules. Uh, that's all nice and well, but let's see how I actually use it. So we'll start with the HTML part. Uh, the HTML here, I think it's, I hope it's pretty self-explanatory. This is a, a title, the Angular way of uh, interpolating. If I click here, you can see that on the app component TS, I'm populating the title, I'm initializing it. And uh, then I have this input field. Uh, I called it my input. This is the Angular way of referring to elements in your markup. And I have this button that does something when you click it, exactly. Uh, it does on send, we'll go into this uh, function in a second, but let's save it and see how it looks. Here is the demo, oh, let's refresh it, there we go. And by the way, uh, one uh, little thing about uh, the Angular uh, development environment, it's really easy, it's auto-refreshing, you can see it here, it's really nice. So. You can see I have all the elements here, but what does this button does uh, do? Uh, when I look at the on send uh, uh, function, you can see it has something that is amazingly similar to what I shown you just a second ago. It's really similar to this one, but this is the Angular way of, of uh, 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 using it. So first of all, I inject the uh, DB service. Uh, if you remember, I uh, set it up earlier in the uh, uh, ng mod in the app module. And once I initialize it again, I'm Superman now. So with this DB, I refer to the collection messages. By the way, this is the Angular way of uh, setting a type. I uh, defined a type for the message uh, uh, interface and now everything will be much easier because I know what to expect. So uh, refer to the uh, messages collection, add, uh, this data, this data is from here. The text is the uh, input of the uh, 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 input, is the value of the input and the date is just the date. And if it succeeds, do this. If it fails, do that. Okay, 
Let's now see it in action. I'll start the inspector. Okay, I hope you can all see it. And if I'll do one, two, three, I'll send it. This is not the console. Great, document written with ID. Now let's go uh, visit the console. We'll go to the uh, database. And you can see I have a messages collection. Oh, there's a few other ones I did earlier, sorry. Uh, but you can see it's here. So, okay, this is nice, but I wanna make things a bit more interesting. Let's make things a bit more interesting. Okay, so putting data in the database that I didn't create, it, it's super fun, super easy, but let's take it to the next level. I'll go back to the HTML and I'll add a list here. Now, this is the Angular way of iterating over object, usually arrays, but what I'm iterating over right now is not an array. You see the dollar sign? This is a convention, meaning that this is an observable. An observable is a contract between the backend and the frontend that uh, uh, keeps the uh, uh, frontend updated with any changes that happened on the backend. Let's see how I set it up. So I'll click it. And you can see, I uh, uh, first I just say it's an observable type. I'm not initializing it. I'm just saying this is of a type observable that carries the payload of the observable is an array of message. You remember I uh, set up message earlier. Now let's see how I initialize this message. I say this message is equal, this DB, you remember the DB object, you remember the collection method, again, I'm referring to the same collection messages, now I'm passing a query function, I'll talk it in a second, but earlier, if you remember, I used the uh, add method, now for the collection, I'm using the value changes method. What the value changes method does, it returns an observable, which I can later use in my HTML, using the async pipe. Async pipe enforces, enforces that contract I told you, which means any changes that happens here, uh, uh, implement them on the UI immediately. Now let's see it in action. I'll save it. I'll go back to here. And here are the messages. Hello. And I'll send it. ta -da! And you can see it here. Okay. This is a bit better, but now everyone, I want your attention, please. I want your attention. Uh, close the Clash Royale or uh, Candy Crush. I need you here uh, right now. I want you all, if you be so kind, uh, to go into this uh, uh, URL. I'll also share it on my uh, uh, Twitter. One second. There you go. But please, I'm asking you all to uh, open your browser or take out your uh, iPhones or whatever else you have and go into this uh, URL because then you can see the real magic that Firebase uh, allows you uh, uh, to do. Uh, okay. It's hard without any feedback, but I'm assuming you're all uh, inside all uh, the talks.web.app. Uh, here's a QR code if you want. And let's see. Ah, there you go. Ding, ding, dong. Attention, please. Hello, Ben. This is a message. Woo! All your base are belong to us. Woo, Sal. Hey, Sal, how are you? Great lecture done. Thank you. Listening. Okay, I'll let you all enjoy it, and I'll talk for a second on what we did here. We, uh, it was like, what, six, seven lines of code, and we created a live chat uh, without worrying about all the uh, unbelievably hard things that usually uh, uh, are uh, connected to such uh, projects. What about security? Okay, uh, first of all, if you'll try to do a... Um, uh, XSS hack, you won't be able because uh, Angular sanitizes. Ha, <laughs> nice, but this is not an SQL. But Angular sanitizes all the HTML, so you don't need to worry about it. Uh, but who's allowed to write things here? Uh, that's another uh, permission or authorization issue. I'll talk to, about it in a second. Um, but look how I created a live chat that, uh, as far as I care, uh, uh, a thousand people can go inside right now and it doesn't really matter. Everything works with zero uh, uh, 
effort in my part. Also, another really nice thing you should uh, take a look at, uh, I, uh, if you remember, I earlier said I injected a few, uh, I imported a few modules. So in, uh, uh, not only the, uh, um, the, the big module, the uh, home module of the uh, Angular Firebase, but also the analytics module. I just imported it. I didn't set up anything. And if we'll take a look at the analytics real time. Okay. What? Only two people? No, that can't be right. I'll try and refresh that. As I said, what? But I see so many points here. How? Why do they say uh, to? Okay, I see we have people from Atlanta and uh, from London. What's that? Kent. Okay, Paris. Hi, Paris. I miss you so much. I hope I can visit soon. Okay, I'm not sure why, why it says only two, but uh, obviously it does work, and we have statistics. Amazing, loving it. What's your Twitter account to follow you? My Twitter is. Done. From Paris, right? That's my uh, Twitter account. Yeah, I hope so. Um, yeah. Okay. So where were we? Uh, we don't have a lot of time left. Of course, I always do that. Let's go over the rest of the presentation really fast. I love this uh, uh, mode. Okay, we're back on, guys. Um, so here are a few resources. I'll send you the link to the uh, presentation later so you can uh, uh, use it. But I really recommend you not just listening to me talk about it. That's nice and everything. But I really think you should uh, find a project, something you like, and dig into it. It's really fun. It's easy to create. It's easy to uh, make. Uh, the data structure, it, uh, as I said, uh, it's a no, it's a, a NoSQL uh, database, so it's based on documents. Documents are a simple JavaScript object. It could be a flat object. It could be a nested object, and you can refer to it either by the way you've seen earlier, collections and a doc inside the collection, or just uh, a, 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 just a, a go directly to the doc, but see how I can also use it to pass variables. So it makes it really powerful and strong. Uh, you can also refer to an entire collection like I did earlier with the messages. You can also use sub-collection, which is really, really useful when you do, for example, multi-tenant uh, uh, product like uh, us in UVI. Uh, queries, you can make really complex queries. They do have some limitation. I don't have time to get into it, but believe me, uh, you can overcome it uh, on the UI. You can order and limit. You can create paginations. Again, really nice and easy. Authorization. Oh, give me one more second. I want to show you something really cool I almost forgot. OK, let's go back to the code for a second. I also created this really nice little uh, component called app login. Let's see it in action for a second. Hi from Brazil. Hello, Anonymous. Oh, let me just log out for a second. OK, now I'm anonymous. Let's sign in. And it opens the uh, Google authorization. I'll log in, and it says, "Hi, Dan Cohen. Now I'm uh, logged into my uh, uh, application. How did I create the face, the Facebook or Google, what have you, uh, login so easily? It's amazing. Let's just take a, a sneak peek at this uh, uh, component. The HTML has two parts. This is the Angular way of doing if." If the user is logged in, then show this. If not, show hello anonymous and allow the user to click and sign in. Let's see this sign in method. It's one line, people. It's one line. I signed into this application with a single line of code. This is how it should be. It's really nice. It's really easy. Uh, I really recommend it. The same thing goes with the uh, sign out method. Uh, let's go back to the presentation. OK, and uh, we have the authorization. Uh, you can also uh, uh, granulate the uh, authorization to read and write and even more complex to create or update or delete. Each could have its own permission. You can use permission uh, to uh, uh, check uh, uh, oops, to check the user ID, uh, if it uh, even logged in or not. You can use it uh, uh, based on properties of the object the user tries to uh, 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 
Okay, and I see we're out of time. I, I didn't show you functions. Okay, functions are the best part. You see, you see how each and every message ends with an exclamation point. It's not just because you're all so happy. It's also because I've created a really powerful uh, a, a tool. I, I used a really powerful tool called functions, cloud functions. Let's take a quick look at it. I have a add exclamation function. This all is boilerplate. Uh, not really important. This what it means that when this document, the messages documents uh, collection, is a, a when you create a new document in the messages collection, run this code. Now this code takes the uh, value, it takes the text property, and simply adds the exclamation and writes it back. That's it. But it gives you a hint of how powerful a, 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 a functions can be. Uh, you can have all kinds of uh, triggers. You can use it to uh, uh, notify people of messages once uh, chat messages, uh, for example, mentions them. You can use it to sanitize messages. You can use it to uh, process images like we do it in UVI or uh, the Afikuman. Uh, you can use it to uh, uh, push uh, messages to Slack. There's a lot of cool uh, items. And uh, again, I'm sorry, uh, we're out of time, but uh, I'll share this entire presentation and the code base to uh, the chat you've just seen. I was Dan Cohen. Thank you so much. I hope we have some time for questions. Thank you. Yeah, we can. We can do. We, we did a couple of questions already through the uh, through through your demo, which was pretty pretty sweet. So we can do uh, since since we dropped uh, a little bit midway through, uh, we can we can do some extra questions. So please, uh, since it's uh, a meal time after that anyway. So if you have questions, please do ping them now. There's one question uh, in your demo as well, which is uh, do you de do you define a, a domain in Firebase? How do you get the link? All the talks .web .app? Uh, can you believe it's free? It's it's unbelievable. Let's take a quick look at the uh, console. And if I'll go to hosting, uh, you can see that you get the uh, basic uh, uh, native uh, URL. And you can also create your very own URL. Mm, sorry. Create your very own URLs. It's really easy. And you can also attach your very own website. Um, I'm on the free plan, so I can't, but uh, for the Afikuman, for example, I used idancoin.com. So yeah, you can attach a, a, a URLs really, really easy. Awesome, looks good. Uh, question from uh, Yoran Dubois. Uh, how does Angular observe the changes in the collection in real time? I I'll tell you the truth, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm sure they have some kind of a socket logic behind the scenes with a, a, a caching, uh, and they also have an offline mode to a, a, a keep your changes and push them once you log in. But basically, I don't care, and neither should you. That's the amazing uh, thing about it. That's why I like it so much. I want an object to uh, 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 reflect the changes I have in my database. How it creates that object? How it reflects the uh, changes, I honestly don't care, and, uh, and neither should you. Look how easy it is. I'm saying populate this message uh, observable with this enigmatic value changes. I don't even know why they call it value changes. What I do know, it returns an observable that I can put in my HTML and using this async pipe, create a contract that every time something changes in the backend, it changes in my UI. Uh, so answering your questions, I don't know, but I don't care. Awesome. Good answer. Good answer. Um, yeah, really, really great session, Aidan. Uh, I just followed you on Twitter, Aidan underscore CO. Uh, thank you very, very much for uh, for your session. And uh, and also a big thank you uh, for supporting all the talks. We appreciate, uh, we appreciate you joining us. It's been an amazing pleasure. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much and good luck. There's a lot of the interesting talks. I'll stay around and uh, listen. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you very, very much.